What's going on guys, Chucks for Gamer here today, I have another video for you guys, today's the 6th Wi-Fi battle, and today I have a battle against this little girl here called JK, not a little girl, because she packed the punch. Um, this was a battle I had while just roaming around, trying to find people online, and I jumped, bumped into her, and she gave me a heck of a battle, and I think it is definitely worthy of uploading. She went in with a Haxorus, a Golem, a Talonflame, a Lapras, a Gengar, and a Malga. Uh, a really solid team. Uh, going in, I assumed that her Gengar would be her Mega. I'm sure it was in the end. This happened a while ago, so if I'm a bit hazy, don't blame me. But, uh... Again, I always feel confident with this team. I love this team. Um, this is my in-game team, so it's still even a competitive team because I have my Tarantrum, my Stealth Rocker, my Chargonian, my Charizard with my uh, Mega Evolution, my Nidoking, my Kabutops, my Abomasnow, and my Pangoro. So let's get right into this battle, and uh, this was a great battle. It was really fun, so I hope you enjoy it. Let's go. JK is issuing a challenge. So she goes out to her Amalga first, which is bad for her. I go out to my Tyrantrum. Um, so I know she can't do anything to me, so I just decide to go for the Stealth Rock while she goes for the Volt Switch, probably just to get out of there, because she knows she's going to get whooped. Uh, what well, she thinks she is. She probably assumes I'm going for Stone Edge or something, but I just end up going for my Stealth Rock. Um, just trying to set up hazards uh, for later, for uh, her actually, uh, her Lapras. But um, I go, I switch out because I don't want other Paras killing me, so I go out to my Kabutops because I know I can take an Ice Attack from that thing um, with Kabutops, and it very much does. I could have got out to a Bomb of Snow, but it didn't really matter. Um, so Kabutops uses a Stone Edge, and it's able to take out the Lapras, nice and simple. So it's already 6-5, and um, no real trouble, I was able to get out my Stealth Rock, so at the start of the battle, it was go going in my favour. Next she goes out to her Gengar. Um, a bit worried about this thing, I knew it can pack a punch, but it actually goes for the Hypnosis, which was really annoying about this battle. She um, she was using the Hypnosis kind of thing, and um, she didn't. She put a lot of Pokemon of mine to sleep, which was really annoying. Um, so Kabutops isn't going to do anything, so I go over to my Panchamp, because I know on Hypnosis won't do anything, but it predicts that, I think, and I think it goes for a Dazzling Gleam here, or it was the next turn. But as you can see, it does Mega Evolve, like I said at the start. I was assuming it would Mega Evolve, and it did now. It goes for... Actually, no, it goes for the Shadow Ball this turn. So I'm able to take that nice and easy. Um, but here, I believe, it goes for the Dazzling Game, Gleam, and it takes out my Panchamp. Uh, Panchamp is a great Pokemon, but it's, it's, it's not been doing well in my online battles. Like, that's for sure. It hasn't been getting the light of day in a while. So I think I might have to take it off the team, because it's just not... Put in the work. But anyway, I go out to my Chargonian because it's the only thing that I think I can go up against, you know, Mega versus Mega. So I go out to my Chargonian. Now, it actually does something really annoying here uh, as the drought kicks in. I believe it puts me to sleep. Yeah, it goes with the hypnosis again, which was so annoying. And uh, this happened pretty much the entire battle. Every time I had a counter for something, she just uses a really annoying tactic. Uh, with the hypnosis, which was um, which was really annoying. She goes for a psychic. I was hoping um, that I would wake up, but I don't. Uh, I think I say and again, take another psychic. I know I can take a lot of psychics. I probably should have swapped out, which was very stupid of me. But I I keep thinking that I can I I can kick out of this thing, but I I can't, and I just let my Trigonian die. There's nothing I can do anyway. I'm trying to get a, a clean swap in to any one of my Pokemon. Um, but the problem was, she had a lot of counters, like I send in my Obama Snow here just to get off an Ice Shard and do something. But a Sludge Bomb from this thing is going to take me out immediately. So I was in a very, very bad corner. But actually goes the Hypnosis on me, misses, I go for the Ice Punch trying to do something. But it, it does huge damage, it did way more than I was ever expecting. I go for an Ice Shard here, I think I take it out, and I do! I was able, um, I... Didn't know why she didn't go over the sludge bomb there. Maybe she didn't have it because her moves were. Actually, no, she didn't have it because she had dazzling gleam, hypnosis, shadow ball, and something else. So she goes out to her Malga. I go for an ice shard. I'm able to take it out in one hit. Wait, I'm joking. She goes for the uh, acrobatics. It takes my Obama Snow down to half. But the hail, for some reason, the hail in two of my battles has been able to take him out. 
hail is all of a sudden useful in this generation. Weird. So goes out to the Talon Flame. Stealth Rock's gonna take it to half percent. I go for an Ice Shard. Bomb Snow isn't really needed anymore, so this I knew this Ice Shard wouldn't ki take it out, so I was pretty much offering a sacrifice. And the Acrobatics is gonna take me out for sure. Now, um, my Kabutops was still in a Gnosis, so I send out my Tyrantrum instead. Because um, I know uh, even a Dragon Claw could take this out. It goes for the Brave Bird, but Tyrantrum is such a defensive monster that can able to take it any day. Uh, it took it so well, and I think it almost no, it almost kills itself, and then the Dragon Claw will take it out. So um, I was playing really well here. She was using a really annoying tactic earlier, but um, I, I was able to bounce back. From it, and um, next she goes out to her Haxorus, which is a big problem. It does have the quick powder, my Tarantrum, I mean, so I thought I might be able to be faster than it, but I'm sure I'm not. And if I am, I don't do that much damage. No, it, it's definitely faster. Goes to the Dragon Claw, it, this takes me out for sure. Um, so I'm not left with a, a lot of options. Um, I really am it. I have Nino King, so I go out to that. I try to do something with the Earthquake, and I believe I take it out somehow. Just joking. Daxorus is just so strong. Uh, but it goes for a Sword Dance, which is a terrible move, because Nido King is just naturally faster. So the Earthquake would be able to take it out. Uh, I have a feeling if it didn't set up, I probably would have been able to take me out. Maybe assume that um, he was going for Poison Jab, and he wouldn't be able to take me out, but I do, which is lucky. And it goes out to my go his Golem, or her Golem. Um, and I'm able to get off an Earthquake, and I believe I take it out, and even if it had Sturdy, the Stealth Rocks would have nullified that, so uh, I think that was the battle. A great battle, uh, I really enjoyed having it. Um, she wasn't using the right rules, I think she didn't know about the, um, what are they, the, 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 the rules where you can't, the Glagon, the, ah, I don't even know the rules, I can't remember their name, but, um, yeah, great battle, JK. If she has a YouTube channel, check it out. Uh, JK, if you're watching this video um, somehow, uh, leave your YouTube name in the comment below, and I will definitely um, tell you guys about her uh, or him, whoever. <laughs> anyway, I'm just rambling now. Subscribe, like, check out, bitch, please. Check out uh, my friend Ms. Katie May. I didn't even know she had a YouTube channel. Jesus, girl. You gotta tell me about these things. And if you're watching this, why didn't you tell me? Jesus. We're friends. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you on the next Wi-Fi battle. Bye!